Welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you today how to set up and configure Altercast to broadcast live over the internet using the Radio.co platform. Now, I've got Radio.co open here and as you can see we're scheduled to go live in 51 minutes time which gives us plenty of time to configure Altercast. You can connect and broadcast up to a lot, an hour before your live show is due to start but your listeners won't actually hear anything until your live show has started but it's just to allow you to actually connect and make sure you're configured. As you can see it currently says no DJ connected. So. The first thing to note about Autocast is unfortunately with these free bits of software they don't always make them that easy to actually set up and install. But all is not lost as you can get this working, it just needs a little bit of attention. First thing I did was click download Autocast standalone and then I realised it didn't run, it just came up with an error. So I, when I scrolled down I realised it said you will also need the C++ 2005 library some extra bit of software which runs in the background which you need to install Altercast. So I downloaded and installed that and then it ran. Okay, now I've got Altercast loaded up here as you can see this is what it looks like but there's one extra step which we need to do and again according to their instructions on the website you need to, if you want to broadcast an mp3 because of licensing requirements etc they can't distribute mp3 encoders with Altercast. So you have to download the mp3 library from somewhere else. You get it in a zip file which just looks like this. The only file you actually need to concern yourself with is the one which says lame underscore enc dot dll, alright? All of this other stuff you can just disregard, It doesn't. you don't need that. So with lame dot enc what we're going to do is we're going to copy that, okay, onto our clipboard. Okay, we can then close, uh, we'll, we'll minimize that window. Okay, the next window we need is the one which we've got Autocast stored inside. So, this is where our Autocast program sits on our computer, which in this case is in program files x86 because it's not 64 bit software, it's 32 bit, and we got it in a folder called. So, basically, look inside your program files or wherever you chose during the installation wizard. Um, I use Mac now and I don't miss doing any of this kind of stuff. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to paste in the lame underscore enc and we just need to click continue. Now that basically what this does is it gives Altcast the ability to encode an mp3 stream which is what we need for the for the purposes of radio.co in this tutorial. So all of the links are there on the Altercast.com website on the download page. You just need to make sure you read this chunk of text and follow the instructions accordingly. And then once you've done all that, uh, you can have Altercast up and running. Now I've just installed that um, MP3 library, so I think we might need to relaunch this just to make sure it's all working. And we should be quite good to go. Now we can get go back to radio.co here and the three bits of information we're going to need to actually connect to our broadcast are the host name, right, the port and the password. These are going to be unique to you. Now if you invite DJs to come and broadcast on your radio station they'll also have their own unique details. So what they need to do is, or what you need to do is click on these three fields and each time you click it, it one of them, it will actually copy it to your clipboard. And then we can just paste them into the corresponding fields and Altercast. So what we need to do is we need to click on Add Encoder in Altercast. Let's just get this all lined up so we can see neatly here. Uh, add Encoder, right? And then once you've added one, if you double click on it, that gives you access to the configuration. Now we've got basic settings, yellow pages, we don't need to worry about that, plus some advanced settings and we don't need to worry about them. So we're only concerned with this first tab here, basic settings. Now the first thing we need to do is switch to mp3 as our encoder type. We're going to leave these settings as default. So bit rate 128, sample rate 44100, channels 2. Don't mess with any of that because you might just end up with a rubbish sounding stream and you don't want that. Server type, we're going to go with shoutcast, okay? And server IP. Now we, this is where we just start copying and pasting some of these fields. Server IP is also the host name, the same thing, okay? So in this case, we paste that one in. Now we need the server port, so we'll copy this from radio.co and we can paste this back into Autocast in the port field. Finally, password. Again, we're going to copy this 
password, password because it's unique for us. It's like a secret access key. And we're going to paste that in on the password. Mount point, point, we don't need to worry about that. We can just leave that field empty and we'll leave the reconnect as 10 seconds. That should be fine for our purposes. So we are now ready to go. Okay, now the next thing you need to check out is where you want sound to be captured from. Okay, um, at the moment, um, you know, I'm, I'm connected on a, on a window so I could select microphone. You might have different sound cards installed on your computer depending on where you want the source to come from, which is going to be broadcast. That's completely up to you and that will vary on case to case. And then really it's just a case of hitting the magic connect button. And as you can see here, it says connected, which is great. Um, the cool thing is, if we now go back onto radio.co, you can see it's got a green light. We're connected. We're ready to broadcast. Because our show hasn't started yet, we've not hit zero. Um, means and we're not actually going to be able to start uh, doing anything until that hits zero because listeners won't hear. But it means we're connected and we're showed up ready to broadcast on in advance. And we're safe in the knowledge that as soon as that does hit zero, we're going to be live on the air on the internet radio. All right. That concludes this tutorial. Thanks very much for watching. If you're not familiar with radio.co, we'd recommend checking it out because we offer the best solution to start a radio station on the internet, bar none. Really, the user usability and the features are un unmatched uh, in, in the internet radio landscape. So please check it out. If you head to try.radio.co, you can get, grab yourself a seven-day free trial. And we're also happy to answer any questions. We have a whole team of internet radio experts uh, in our HQ in Manchester ready to take any questions you may have. So you can email us directly on studio at radio.co. My name is James Mulvaney, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.